Now, if you go on YouTube, it's not hard to find videos of people like James Randi or Richard Dawkins attacking homeopathy and claiming to debunk it. They don't actually know much about homeopathy. In fact, they know pretty much nothing about homeopathy. Their attacks against it are rather stupid. Um, yet they have, have thousands of people following them, and I guess if they are asked, they would say that they are attacking homeopathy in order to defend people, because people are somehow being hurt by homeopathy. Well, first of all, not much money is actually spent on homeopathics. You know, most homeopathics uh, that people get are probably just like in the health food store, and they'll get some like um, pellets of like belladonna for a headache or something like that. Not the um, best use of homeopathy, not an in-depth constitutional intake by a practitioner, uh, but that's probably how most homeopathics are sold. Uh, people are not injured by homeopathy, if you ask me, because I actually know about homeopathy. You know, it's possible to actually cause a bad aggravation using it, but it's not really possible to injure people. But from the perspective of James Ram Ramsey and Richard Dawkins, it shouldn't be possible to even injure anyone using homeopathics, because they don't believe that they can do anything at all. So if it's something that not a lot of money is spent on, that people are not getting injured from, why are they putting so much effort into homeopathy? Now, well, one more thing is that they actually don't use the scientific method to debunk homeopathy. They use their personal beliefs. Their entire argument against homeopathy is that because they personally do not understand how it could work, it therefore cannot work. Uh, that that's not a scientifically valid argument. There's lots of things out there that work that we don't even know could work because we don't understand it yet. Uh, so that, that's just the, the most you know mind-bogglingly stupid argument in the world because I don't understand how this could work. It cannot work. Uh, but what they are not skeptical against and these are these big leaders in this whole skeptic community, is they're not skeptical against con conventional medicine. Now, depending upon what study, you know, conventional medicine might be the third leading cause of death in this country. It could be the leading cause of death in the United States. Years ago, Gary Knoll put together a great paper showing that conventional medicine was, in fact, the number one cause of death in the United States. They don't care about the vast waste of money on unnecessary drugs, unnecessary medical procedures. They don't care about just pseudoscience in conventional medicine, such as psychiatry. So if some woman is PMSing and she's giving some psychiatric drug for it, they, they don't consider that something that's bad. They don't consider giving children psychiatric drugs bad, or at least they're not actually commenting on it. That's just that's outside of the realm of what they can be skeptical, you know, against. The whole system of conventional medicine, where health is somehow supposed to be improved by delivering poisons into the body, is not something that someone is supposed to be skeptical against, according to James Ramsey or Richard Dawkins. In fact, the, the, very, what, the very thought of even questioning cause of creating health by poisoning the body, that's outside of the realm of, of thought. That's why they're consciousness. They can't, they, they, they can't even um, see that this is what they're arguing for. Um, all, they, the, all the poor options given to people with chronic illnesses by conventional medicine, which lead them to alternatives like homeopathy, all that is outside of the realm of them the questioning. They cannot you know, examine anything about conventional medicine. But let's even be beyond this, the issue of structural violence, of people getting sick because of the way that violence is structurally put into our socioeconomic system is outside of the realm of their thought. So if someone is sick because they, of the stress from poverty, well, it doesn't really matter. They're not even focused on that. And the, the over, if you start looking at structural violence, that injures more people. That causes more poor health and deaths than conventional medicine or anything else. But it's just kind of like outside of the realm of their consciousness. What about the uh, just the mass polluting of the environment causing ill health? You know, the way everyone's polluted with metals and, and plastics now, disrupting you know, the endocrine system. Outside of the realm. You know, James Ramsey isn't talking about how we need to be skeptical over the use of plastics and everything. So it's very easy to see that when it comes to the large scheme of things and the real stuff, 
that impacts health. Richard Dawkins, James Ramsey do not give a shit. They, they are completely unaware of it. They're blind to it. Yet, they will go on and attack homeopathy. And there are other people on, online, on YouTube, with thousands and thousands of views just attacking homeopathy. And besides not knowing anything about homeopathy, even by their own admission, homeopathy can't injure someone. You know, the, so why do they do this? Why do people go and start Act being an activist for something. Well, then there might be a valid reason. It might be a very important cause to, to fight for. But many times it might just simply be a form of emotional or intellectual masturbation. It's someone who is stuck into a certain train of thought and nothing gives that person more pleasure than to reiterate their train of thought as, it's, as if it's the greatest thing possible. So James Ramsey and Richard Dawkins are heavily invested into a very mechanistic train of thought. They believe that the universe is nothing more than matter randomly hitting each other, and that's it. And this ultra-mechanistic view of the universe is what they are heavily invested in. So they just want to jerk off on, on this. And the, the very concept that the body is more than and that matter, that the body is actually energy and matter working together, that so offends them. And I'm not even injecting any supernatural spiritual God thing into this. I'm an atheist myself. But just acknowledging that there is a energetic component to how the human body works offends them so that they must attack it. Never mind that they're conscious beings. I, I, I have no idea what they could possibly make of their own consciousness. You know, since you can't actually physically see it, I guess their consciousness must not exist either. Uh, but we can start looking into other areas where people become activists against the stupidest things, like um, so-called feminists attacking Lego or like making uh, Lego market it with little girls that, that that this is somehow an attack on women's rights or something or that that this is misogynistic in some way just you know I can go on but just absurd things that people will activist for for no reason other than there's an emotional incentive for them to do it and um, that's you, you know so, you know I don't like thinking about this for anything. I find it kind of annoying, uh, but I, I guess that's the point of this video. Okay, bye.